what who sees what. It is. Well, now it says it's being recorded. I guess that would answer that. Yes, it did. But see, Amber says start meeting five minutes beforehand, and then it says start live stream two minutes before. But according to this, I'm already recording. Okay. Oh, I could I could pause the recording. Okay. It says we're recording. Okay. And are there people out there? <laughs> there are attendees. Yes, there are. Okay. So uh, welcome everyone to the uh, uh, Village of Mamaroneck Board of Architectural Review uh, for uh, September 21st, 2021. I think the last day of summer, hope you all enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, this meeting is obviously uh, virtual. Um, we'll call on the attendees to uh, you know, one by one, we will ask that you share your screen so that we can see uh, the images that you have. We don't really have the ability to, to look at them individually each, each at a time ourselves. And um, if I'll try to, after each application to um, ask if there's anybody in the audience that has any questions or comments or wish to say something, um, but at any time you can uh, raise your hand and let, uh, let us know or let Barbara know and she'll promote you at the end so you can talk. So make, uh, make, be sure to met, uh, make yourself known. Um, and I guess with that, we can get started. Um, so uh, we'll come to order. And uh, the first order of business then is the uh, approval of minutes, which is a little bit tricky because of the confusion over the past period of time. But first of all, for the meeting for August 3rd, 2021, I think the uh, only people there were uh, Cindy, Athena and myself. Um, so uh, do either, do not both of you have the chance to review the minutes and do you have any comments or questions or issues? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. No, all good. And um, does, in that case, um, I guess somebody should motion to vote on it. Motion. <laughs> One should second it. Um, that would be uh, you, Athena. Athena? Athena, on you. Athena's Sorry, new. I second. Okay, very good. And uh, we're all in favor then, obviously. Okay, so those meetings are approved. Those minutes are approved. The second set of meetings on August 19th, I think was just Andrew, Cindy, and Yvonne. Is that correct? And Andrew, you were the chair, so I'll let you take it from there. Yes, I mean, I've reviewed the minutes. Have uh, Cindy and Yvonne, have you had an opportunity to review them? Yes. Yeah. Any questions, Yvonne? You're muted there. Sorry. Sorry. No, no uh, questions. I'm okay. so, no. So, no, would no. you like to make a motion, please? I make a motion. I and second. Cindy. Okay. And it's unanimous. It's accepted. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll go on. Uh, there's no. Um, old business in the sense of old business that we previously spoken of. There are the people that heard from the prior meeting, but they're all on the agenda now. So that, but that'll be new, uh, uh, new business for our purposes. So we can start in then with the uh, first applicant on the agenda, which is 643 uh, Center Avenue. Okay, Mike, you should be on. Mike, can you unmute? Or let me see, maybe I can do it. Mike, can you on? There we go. Can't see you, but we'll be able to hear you.
Oh, I can't hear him. Or see him. No, I, he's not muted, but I can't. Mike, can you hear us? I mean, he's a panelist. He should be good. Mike. He's so, connecting. Yeah, it says he's connecting now. All right. Okay. Let's see, the issue with these Zoom things is everybody's new to this and doesn't quite know which buttons to push. Including me. <laughs> and it looks like he might not have made it. Yeah. Mike. He raised his hand. Raising mm -hmm. his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we can see that. What do you do about that? <laughs> and it says he's connecting to audio again. But see, I don't know what it is I'm supposed to do about this raised hand. Well, you could. Uh, I don't know either. Athena, should I be doing something about the fact that his hand is raised? I think you're good with this techie stuff, aren't you? I don't, I can't, oh, his. He's raising I his mean, hand. And I can see the yellow hand is raised, but am I supposed to do something about it? No, I mean, you can. It, not really. It's just like an emoticon. I think the best bet is to move on to the next person and make sure it's not an issue with our Zoom. Um, yes, I agree. Let's try someone there, someone else. And maybe you can, maybe you have, you can call him offline, or he can call you if he can hear us, and then you can try to figure it out. So, but we have to. I think we'll have to move on then. Um, mm -hmm. So the next next. All right, one. Mike. We're going to go to the next one, and we'll try to come back to you. So now I have to put him back as an attendee, or should I leave him here trying to connect? Uh, I think you should take take him off and talk to him offline, and go to uh, nine nineteen Sylvan. All right. So he's going back to an attendee, and then nine nineteen Sylvan is Rick Yestet. There he is. So I'm going to make him a panelist and allow him to talk. And there's Rick Yestat. Okay. Rick, if you can hear us, can you unmute? There he is. Okay, good. It works. <laughs> Hello. All, All right. right. Greetings. Greetings. Hi. All right. So we've been on before, so you know the drill. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's get started. So um, <clears throat> let's. Uh, okay. So Barbara, if you can enable share screen. Do I just click on where it says share screen, even though I don't want to share my screen? Not sure exactly. I think you. Have I thought to... you would click on share screen. Yeah, he does, but you have to enable him to be able to do it. Doesn't being a panelist enable him? No. No, I think if, if, if there's a place to do it, is it under more? Do you hit? You know where? Chat up pins. Make host. Make co-host. Change role to attendee. Rename. Allow to record. Allow to multi pin Put on hold. I mean, nothing there says anything. So anything here, allow, pa allow panelists to rename, allow, pan allow panelists to start video. I don't know what I, I mean, I'm gonna hit share screen, but I don't know what that's gonna do. No, I, now that's sharing my screen now, I think. Yeah, I mean, if, if he's a panelist and we can share our screens, I'm not sure why he couldn't share his screen. Well, why don't you try it and see if, 
Yeah, I, I keep trying and it says host uh, disabled participant screen sharing. I wish I knew how- Oh yeah, it says that for me too. The host has to um, give permission. Barbara, do you want to turn over host to me for a minute and I can look at it? I would love to if I knew what to do. I will do whatever you tell me to do, but I don't know how to, how do I make you the co-host? It's hard to say without me having, seeing it in front of me. Yeah, it should. I'm going to call. It should be Sarah. along the okay, bottom. Okay, wait, Barbara, for yes. sharing the screen, it says that you click the little up arrow to the right of the share screen icon. Ah, oh, the little arrow, okay. Click on it. Who can share? Ooh. All panelists. See, that's your automatic. You be like that, I think. Well, yeah. you don't. Want, you only want them sharing one at a time, though. That's you know. Well, okay. I mean, we're here. Let's. All right. So it should work now. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Cindy. Okay. Yay. Okay. So we'll start out with the photographs of the. Um, existing uh, conditions. So this is uh, 919 in this location, uh, just off of uh, Tony Lane, uh, 925 in this location, the left-hand neighbor, and 915 on the right-hand side. This is uh, 925, the left-hand neighbor. There's a screen planting in place <clears throat> along the property line. That's the uh, the left side of the um, of the project uh, site. This is the front of the house, and uh, you can see there's um, quite a variety of roof shapes uh, and styles that have been incorporated in the existing structure. Um, this is the right-hand neighbor, 915. This is the rear patio looking towards 925, the left-hand neighbor. So the proposed addition would be in this location, uh, just beyond this, this existing railing. Uh, this is that existing railing in the previous photo. So the proposed addition is in this position basement and first floor. This, uh, we'll talk about this in the drawings a little bit. This solid um, panel screens the existing barbecue counter uh, and outdoor kitchen. Uh, in terms of materials, the everything, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward in that the um, existing materials will be matched in the proposed new addition that includes a new, new cedar shake siding to uh, match the existing. Uh, here you can see the, the location of the existing barbecue. Um, again, back to materials. So the existing railing, which is quite nice. Uh, it's a high pay teak top rail and teak. Um, horizontal uh, infill with black painted steel posts. So again, this is to match the, um, uh, the new proposed exist, um, new proposed railings. The windows, this is the, what's proposed is the Anderson White 400 series, again, to match the existing windows that are used in the uh, existing home. And the, the final piece of material that's being proposed in new construction is, is the, uh, the stone uh, veneer that exists as the uh, finish for the basement, <laughs> which uh, again, we'll see this in the drawings. Uh, that will match the proposed existing uh, 
push out to the rear at the basement level. So this is the, uh, the existing site plan. Uh, this is the existing house, two and a half story dwelling. This location is the existing patio in which the that dotted line represents the proposed um, push out to the rear, the existing terrace, existing barbecue, outdoor kitchen, the proposed uh, is this hatched area. Then we get a new stairs uh, down to the existing flagstone terrace. And you see that we have moved, we'll see in more detail in the plans, but we've moved the barbecue, which has a number of advantages. So the, the railing now is a continuous form, a continuous object across the rear. So this would be the floor plan for the basement, just to give you an idea of what's going on here. So this is this is the push out to the rear at the basement level with uh, proposed new sliding glass window, uh, sliding glass door and side lights in this location. This is the first floor, again in this directly above the addition in the basement, this push out to the rear uh, for a new dining room. These are new stairs down to the existing terrace, stone terrace. And this is that um, railing, we'll see it in elevation. It's a big improvement, uh, not only visually, but you know now you're, there's a sight line that's been created uh, to the pool from the kitchen window. It's unobstructed now. You know, you see through that railing, which is um, uh, a big improvement. And also through the spotting glass doors, you now can see down to the pool. So the rear, this is the rear elevation. So this is the proposed uh, structure, basement and First floor addition, push out to the rear. This was the existing, that solid wall uh, that was the barbecue and outdoor kitchen now has disappeared. And now, you know, it's more, more light and visually connected to the house um, with the barbecue moved over to the, to the left. The left-hand side of the, um, the left-hand side, uh, side elevation. You can see the roof form um, we chose of the many roof forms existing on the house. We chose the uh, hip configuration uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it's better sight lines from the master bedroom above to the pool. It's less uh, volume for the adjacent neighbor. Um, as far as the roof form is concerned. Um, and we still have opportunities inside to create a kind of a higher ceiling uh, on the interior. This is the right hand uh, elevation. Uh, so this surface is set back uh, probably 30 feet from the side of the house. Uh, again, the hip roof form is in that location. And here you see a section through where the, we take advantage of some of the ceiling, the roof framing and ceiling heights. Then the, just to give a, these are the 3D uh, drawings. So again, from the roof, uh, this is the addition, the proposed addition to the rear, the existing terrace and the moved barbecue. And again, the rear form with the hip roof finishes to match existing. And here you can start to see that railing, that open railing. It's much nicer, has a horizontal feeling to the rear elevation and then the barbecue off to the left. Uh, 
And that's that's uh, that's everything I have. If the board has any questions. Okay. Thank you. Um. Okay. Um. Those aren't those aren't sliding doors up there, are they? Uh, no. That's correct. What is that? It looks like it. Um, let's review. Yeah, so the, you know, the final, um, yeah, so the window, you know, this was the final window selection here, you know, on the drawings that were submitted. So it's for. Got it. So it's just okay, I think that answers your question, here. right, Athena? So. Yeah, yeah that's just. Yeah, windows, correct. Rick, I have a question. The uh, I muted. No, okay. Hello. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was muted or something like that. Yeah. What is what is that? Um, there's a steel pipe, two and a half inches steel pipe that kind of project out and goes into the floor. What What is that? Yeah, that, that's something uh, that the owner requested um, to, um, uh, to uh, have a, a, uh, a pole in that position for stretching and exercise. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You know, okay. it's, unique. it's unique. I was wondering, I said, this cannot be a dance pouch or anything like that. And uh, okay. That? Right, right. So, yeah, uh, uh, the owner. You can uh, see it in the other elevation. Yeah, on the what is that elevation? The side elevation facing mm -hmm. the, the neighbors. Yeah, I was wondering, what is that? Correct. Okay. So, yeah, so the owners are, you know, um, run and yeah. jog every yeah. day and they. They, they needed something of that nature. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, I think the owners got a lot of privacy, which is nice because uh, now the terrace is kind of surrounded by the, uh, the, the dining. So that is nice. And then I didn't realize that uh, the, the house was so close to the pool. This hardly, what, six feet or something like that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see it down here. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. okay. The the our building inspector is was not able to make it today, but as you know, Mike, you'll, you'll have to you know conform to code for the uh, you know the windows and so forth at the, the pool and that sort of thing. But you can do that separately with the building inspector. I have no questions. No, it is true that railing looks really nice and it's great that you were able to remove the large wall. Yeah, so much nicer. Yeah. So much cleaner and nicer. Yeah, it's yeah. really pretty. Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, it kind of matches the existing. I mean, it, it looks fine to me. Yeah, it looks good. Um, but let's see, are there any uh, questions or comments from the audience? Oh, who knows? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, I, nobody has, somebody would have to have raised well, their hand. Nobody has their hand raised and there's nothing in the chat. Okay, okay. okay. Um, in that case, I think we can uh, uh, proceed. Uh, this can I get a? I'll motion? make a motion to approve this. Okay, someone second it. Second. Please. Okay. Anybody? Uh, well, all in favor? Yes. 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 Yeah. Any? No, anybody opposed? Okay. Nope. I think some of you are muted, so I'm not sure what everybody voted. Maybe let's do it one at a time. Uh, Cindy. I, I said I'm in favor. Okay, I, I couldn't tell who said, not everybody responded because some people were nope. muted. Okay, I'm sorry. Found? Yes, I said yes. Andrew, I know you said yes. And Athena? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Very good then. And I, I'm also in favor. Okay. Very good. Uh, thank you. That was a very good presentation and it looks good and good luck with it, Rick. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Bill, the guy who couldn't connect before has his hand raised, so we're going to try that again. Okay, this would be uh, 643 Center Avenue. Yes. All right, Mike Frederick. There's got to be a way, I, there's got to be a way for you to be able to ask him what he needs. All right, Mike, can you hear us? He was able to a few minutes ago. I saw a message or something saying that he was. Oh. Mike. I mean, it really is only intended to let the host know that you want to say something, but what is the host supposed to do after to acknowledge? Hello? Hi. Oh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, well, I had to go to my phone. This, this, it wasn't working on a computer. Well, you need to big echo. I think your computer is on, on your phone right now. I'll turn the computer off. Yes. Turn off the, the computer audio because we can't hear you. You're echoing too much. That? That's better. Okay. All right. So, am I going to need to share the material or something? Uh, on his I, phone. I don't know how you. I don't know how Probably. to do that. I can do that. Which okay. which one side? Let me just go to the website and then I'll. If you want, Barbara, unless you're going to do it. Oh no, I don't know how to do it. All right, uh, if you just give me a second. Um, All right. I will. Um, I hadn't been there yet, but I will. Tell me which are the, um, which is the project we're looking at now? It's We're looking at the Center Avenue. 643 Center Avenue. Oh, yes, the sign. Very good. Give me one second. Let me just pull up all this stuff. Okay. I probably just need the uh, drawing. Yeah, one so second. Yeah, I'll, I'll. Okay, you see that I'm sharing my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so. So this is what, this is the... There it is, the sign. The sign? Okay. Yep, that's the sign. And then there's um, a, somewhere there's a rendering of it on the... Uh... Yeah, no, I'll, one second, let me just, so that's the sign, then here's the, uh, the building. Correct. And here is, no, no, oh, here. That's where the sign will be. Correct to to the up above the door, the right side of the garage door, above the front door. Mm -hmm. I think this is the same, right? Yeah, yeah. And and I I landed up with the top of the garage door. Just so everyone can see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Better heights are six and a half, four inches and six inches. Is this just a painted sign? This is a um, this is what we, we call a sign material. It's an HDU sign. We've made plenty of them in the village before. It's an inch and a half thick. Um, it's a sandblasted so that the letters will be raised uh, we're going to take the background out um down down to about a half an inch and uh so it'll be a gray background light gray to match the building and it'll have the red and blue color on it and white so it's basically a uh, 
a relief sign with the uh, the red and the blue and the white, I suppose, raised and the gray. Yeah, they will appear raised. Yeah, we're reliefing the background. Right. Okay. I guess technically there's a fourth color white, but mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's it's a pretty straightforward sign. Um, I think. Uh, anybody have any comments about it? Yeah. That's, no, I think it's okay. Yeah. And it was it was um, the right size overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seventy two wide, thirty inches high. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I looked at it before. I didn't see any issues. Yeah. It. You know. I'm not going to quibble about the white. Uh, so. No, I think it's yeah. okay. All looking right. at this, looking at this, uh, on the left, uh, this you can see the sign, but with the border, but that's not happening, right? The actual sign. No, there actually is no border. border. Okay, okay, okay. Just mm -hmm. clarifying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just yeah, a window. Okay. Are there any uh, buddy any wishing to comment? Nobody raising their hand or chatting. Okay, um, and if uh, somebody want to make a motion then. I motion. I second. second. Oh, Cindy said, I, I'm, but I'm voting yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Cindy and Athena? Yes. Cindy and Athena? Yep, good. Yes. Okay, all right, me too. Very good, thank you. Sorry. Thank Lisa. you. Complicated there, thank but good luck design. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. And share one second. Should I queue up the next one just in case? <laughs> Probably. Be ready, be ready since you're kind of there, but let's see if they get what they got. Uh, 1334 Halstead. They we should have... be here. They did not update their sign, their notification sign. Pardon me? They shouldn't be here because they didn't update their sign. Oh, so they're, they're they can't not, be heard. So just uh, to be clear, you're saying they're not they're deferred. Yes, I am. Okay, so we're not doing thirteen thirty four. Correct. So six o five third street. Okay, so who's ever here for six o five third? Please raise your hand. Six oh five third, please raise your hand. Going once. Well, there's two different people it could be. I guess I'll just try them. Six oh five third. Alex is All right. here. Yes. Can you hear me? Alex, are you yes. here for 605 Third? I am. I'm very sorry about that. I was trying to double check the address and then you get thinking so hard about something that, you know, you just overthink it. <laughs> um, yes, sorry about that. <laughs> what company are you from? Uh, Castleman Solar. Okay. Okay, and are you able to share your screen? I'm looking for that button. Um, is it up on the top? No. Hmm. I'm trying to find where that button is. It's right in the middle, down in the center. It's green colored. I only have chat and raise hand. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. All right, see if it works now. I promoted you to a panelist. Oh, I just. Oh, okay. Yes, now, now I've got it. Yes. Sharing my screen right now. Okay. Can you all see? Yes. 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 Okay. So um, proposing uh, for, on behalf of our customer, Chris Weeks, uh, we're proposing a 12 panel, 4.8 kilowatt, uh, roof mounted PV solar array that will be supplying electricity solely to the residents. Um, we've got 12 panels. It's roughly uh, 114 square feet 
of the roof. Um, here's uh, some third angle rendering as well as the view there. Um, got the structural letters all. Um, and then I've got uh, images from the um, residences across the street. So um, on, on this, uh, so the way that these photos are set up is the uh, perspective from the resident, the neighboring residents to uh, the Weeks residents. Um, and so that is, um, um, so the, they will be able to see on that um, ang or angle of the roof, there will be visibility for the panels. Um, so the next house down would not, or they would, yeah, they would have the, the back end of that house. Um, round to the going down the street further. And I also have um, a Google Street View up if you would like to get oriented that way as, as well. It's a little bit easier than seeing the photos like this. So like I said, that was the, the first residence. Um, and then so the, there's a bit of foliage in, on this front, um, but um, yeah, so there's a, that's uh, the view from the street and the neighboring residences. Um, we had them on uh, this plane just because um, for what we have for um, the LIDAR and uh, projections for the sunlight, um, that's really the only viable location to be. This drawing, you're show this drawing you're showing now actually has them in a different place than on the other drawing. Oh, yeah, so um, different layout. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this, sorry, that was, so that was just, I had had that up as a, um, so this is what um, the the pre system build out before we send it through again for our through our internal engineering. Yeah, well, which 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 is the final one? The, this is the final one. Okay. Um, okay. This one now. This one are these panels different sizes? No, um, they okay. look different sizes because it it takes the tilt of the roof into the effect. So the the orientation warps the the dimension in the rendering. All right, so um, go down to the, what there's a there's another art, there's an engineering drawing a little further down. Maybe go down to that. Okay. Um, okay. Is this is this is this a uh, this is a single family house, right? Yes. Yep. Single family residence. Okay, I, I wasn't sure because the, the, all the panels are all on one side, um, which I guess is well the south side and the yeah that side. yeah that would have um, yeah mostly to do with uh, just the the arc of of the sun and the, the most productive areas to have panels on. Okay, um, stay go down to the engineering drawing, could you? This one up there. Okay, now they're sort of arranged in this really haphazard fashion. Um, it's, it's not possible to like straighten this out a bit. Not without um, not without affecting the the overall production and then cost effectiveness. I don't, I don't of the understand system. that. Let's take the four on the left. Okay, mm -hmm. what if you took the five above it and turned them all ninety degrees? To make them all the same orientation across, yes. Um, then they would not fit to the area that the sunlight is going to be hitting. Well, so they would fit in the same area, right? Um, it would appear off. like that, but I assure you that. Well, wait. Um, no. The four across would go exactly the same, and then you'd have one more, right? 
if mm-hmm. it yeah. did fit, I don't think that yeah. two rows would fit well, there. Well, well, look, well, look here, Alex. The thing is, we everybody can see these from the street. So I, I don't know how much you're sacrificing by just trying to make it look sort of halfway decent as opposed to just throwing them kind yeah. of wiggly, wiggly all over the roof. Yeah, it looks very chaotic. Well, the, the chimney would be the first obstacle there um, for being able to have the full rows going across. They would be too long to fit um, two rows there. So it would be mm-hmm. going four across would cut close to the chimney and there would be another panel left over space wise. Mm-hmm. You know what? What I don't that, understand is what I understand here is in this drawing, you, you said it's because the roof has a different pitch, but the fact is it's all one pitch there. No, I, when you, I, yeah, sorry. Right, and when you go it. down to the next, if when you go down mm-hmm. to the engineering drawing, it doesn't, I mean, oh, are they actually the same size? I guess so, okay. Yes, at, at, they, are, they are the same size. Uh, this drawing is just meant more for the, the roof yeah. integrity and is not really focused on the, um, the, so this is, it's shown flat on here on the engineering's drawing, but when rendered on to this drawing, it takes it, the presentation, the dimensions of the panels are warped as if you were looking from the top down on them rather than uh, the way that they're flat. Right. Laid. And where is the chimney? That it's that's actually the chimney is right. I mean, I see it there, but where is it in when you're engineering roof. drawings? Um, it doesn't pertain to this drawing because this drawing is Again. only based yeah. off of the the rafter and truss information that we give to our professional engineer. So this this drawing is is mostly pertaining to the racking system and the structural integrity of the roof. Well, may, maybe there are something simple you could do to straighten it up. What if you put on the left, you've got four vertical and five horizontal. What if you had four vertical? I understand you can't have five, the top five all be vertical because you'll hit the chimney. But what if you put four there and then put two vertical on the other side of the- uh, On the side? Yeah. I can, um, yeah, I can take that down as a note to to ask our engineer yeah. you to see what we're trying to do we're trying to make it look like symmetrical like i understand some kind of aesthetics a nice of pattern not just thrown up because you maybe get yeah i mean i'm sure your lighter drawing says you get more power or something this way but i mean i don't know what the yeah. sacrifice is if it's massive it's one thing if you just lose it yeah goal, it i can get better. those those numbers to to be able to prepare on contingency in the future, for sure, on the um, for the for the trade off of that, um, I just know that those numbers can build up because it's scaled out for the life of the the roof yeah. or the life of the system. So over twenty five years, it can really make a big difference in the curve of well, the cost. Yeah, it, look, it looks to me, since that whole roof faces the same direction, that having eight on one side and two on the other. Oh, now I can actually tell why the engineer didn't put that on this that there so you see these yellow the yellow lines are actually um setbacks for the fire code um and they well, cannot that, yeah. okay but the but it's not it's so not, they couldn't put that on the either vertically or horizontally they wouldn't be able to put another well, but there is one there. but side. there is one there yeah so you couldn't put one there how would there there's one think. already there yeah, it, yeah you couldn't put another you, you couldn't, couldn't put one lower than that because it would be blocking the 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 egress i believe it's called going up this up the valley yeah there's a there there's certain allowable because on this far side it also covers that lane but there's the i believe that it goes for the like the lane of accessibility during um, fire emergencies mm-hmm now, on the earlier thing, you had them on the flat roof, but you decided that was not good, huh? Um, yes, I believe that our engineer had determined that um, that that would not be a good spot in regards to the 
the energy that it would be able to produce over its lifetime. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too enthusiastic about, about the way this is looking. It's a little hard to tell from the picture how, how, how visible it really is. It's also, I'm, I'm sort of confused. What is the front of the house? Because your drawing above this is on an angle. And those photos, you were, oh, you were jumping yeah. around. What is the front of the house? The front of the house is on just um, um, so the, the front of the house is actually oh, um, well oh, I, I, th I think that the is there yeah but if you if you go down meadow meadow is the more uh right but still the just predominant view yeah i mean the address is on third but meadow is the the one where you'll see it more mm -hmm. that'll that'll be where the the panels are well that's where three of the panels are yes mm -hmm. but the rest of the mm -hmm. panels are on the other side of that hip that we yeah. can't see from this view because of the tree because of the tree yes. and yes yeah, it's up there. Are you gonna to have to take down those trees? Nope. No, those are those are um, accounted for within the, the design. Um, I would like to see if there is a, some options for restructuring the panels and see that they can get a little better layout would that be possible i mean i i i, I can check but i do i i do want to forewarn that i don't think that there's going to be there well i mean we i will i will check panels, of course um there's always that what's that you could have less panels of course yes that would that would dip the cost effectiveness down um, well, as well because yeah. this isn't going to be covering, this is going to be covering a portion of the customer's electrical offset. So it's not, so anything so reducing it's, it's, from. It's, so, I mean, the trade-off here is, you know, how much power you get out of it versus, you know, how much, what it looks like, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a balance. So if, between, you, if you can't, yeah. if you can't make it look decent without getting the power, then maybe you have to put some on the flat roof or something. Um, yeah. We would get right. no power from the flat roof. Well, from then, our then, have, then, it, then what you're saying is, you know, that if we don't approve this, that you can't do it, right? Um, is, that is, is that really uh, what you want to, is that really where you're going with this? That's hmm. not where I'm going with that. Um, I do see, I don't know, it, uh, these trees do block um, a portion of the panels. We wouldn't be able to put another one there. I will, um, I will check and prepare um, if there are any other contingent options that we would be able to go with um, as well. So I, yeah, I definitely nice. will be looking at that. Well, uh, maybe, and I'm, I'm speaking for myself to see what everybody else thinks, but I'm, I'm thinking it might be worth taking another shot at this at the drawing board and seeing if you can't come up with something yeah. that's more attractive without overly, you know, hurting the homeowner's ability to produce power by, you know, putting some panels on the flat roof by turning them the other way, it, you know, and something that doesn't look like they're just slapped on there, you know, yeah. where they yeah. you can put the most on, um, you know, I mean, most people try yeah. to try to make it look nice and, and they, they give up a little and maybe they have to put some in like not the best, most ideal condition, but they want it to look nice too. I mean, this seems like there's no, thought of making it look nice just to how's the, how do you get the most juice out of it um mm -hmm. a little right. disappointing honestly i i agree with you bill and yvonne and we have had success in the past with people re-rendering and coming back to us with the rearrangement of the panels yeah and it was a win-win so it'd be great if you could try it out absolutely thank you 
Um, um, yeah, so then I will, um, yeah, I can have that prepared. Um, okay, so we'll, de we'll defer it and, and give you a, a shot at, you know, rather than voting here and, and possibly not approving it, why don't we, we'll give you a shot, you, you can go and and just come back next time and arrange set it up with Barbara and, and see if you can't come up with some options that are, you know, maybe more attractive, particularly on the on the the more visible parts of it. Um, is it um, another? I, uh, is there any way that I can be able to provide that at the next meeting as well? Uh, just for, well, yeah, it's going to change. Oh, well, I don't, I don't, okay. I'm, I don't not, believe that it's going to change that, that much. Um, well, I mean, then we'll vote on it then. I mean, we can vote on it now if you want, but I'm, I'm just concerned that you may not get approved and then, then I don't know what you're going to do. Um, so I'm trying to give you a chance here to try to come up with something better. Okay, I understand. Um, I mean, your call. Well, I obviously don't want to get denied um, if that's what you feel is going to happen? Well, I, 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 you've you've heard the conversation. I haven't asked for a vote. Uh, you know. You know, but you know that's why I said it, it's kind of your call. I, I my. I mean, it seems like for a week, if you if it's worth trying to take a chance of seeing if you don't have a couple of options that you could present that, you know, might get the job done, and. Um, you know, and then at least when we're voting, at least we'll, we will have seen what the options are. Are you wedded? Are you wedded to this particular panel size because of manufacturer agreement or something like that? That would be that's something I don't have the the answer to, but mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that we we would probably have more flexibility there um, than with other um, uh, constraints. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, that can be something we can look at, but um, it would restructure um, the, the next meeting is in two weeks or three it's weeks. Two weeks from today, but I have to have the revised drawings by Monday. Oh, I could have them. Yeah, that, that's no problem. Um, okay. Um, I mean, we'd is like it, to- Is it two weeks to from today or on the, the following Thursday? No, it's first Tuesday. Oh, because we changed Tuesday. this meeting. Yeah, this right. Changed. right, this yeah. meeting is yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Other conflict. All right. Right, right. Okay. Okay, well, um, we'll then- <clears throat> Yeah, I'll go with um, I'll go with that to to see what options we we may have. Okay, and, and then we'll take take another look at it, and then you know we're not I'm not trying to just run you around here. We'd like to see the panels get done. We're all in favor of the panels. It's just it's just they they just look kind of. If we so remove that one <laughs> panel that stood out, would that change the? Well, I, I guess I don't I don't want to you know, spend more time on this speculating then. Yeah. Um, it can be for just getting options to you um, after this mm -hmm. meeting. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just see, see what you can do and then, then we can, we'll have to decide one way or the other, but. Okay. Give it, give it your best shot. Okay, and um, and Barbara, if you can get him on the next uh, agenda, then. Um. Okay, thank you.
All right, let's see. Uh, where are we? 695 Barrymore? Yeah. Has lots and lots of panels. What happened? Good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Can talk. you just hold on one sec? I lost one of my members because I moved him to attendee somehow. <laughs> I'm going to bring Andy back. Andy off. Oh no. We can I'm going to move Mike. <laughs> To get him off here, and you got Alex still here. I can't get rid of Alex for some reason. <laughs> I got Andy back, but now I lost this other guy. All right, I'm going to try with Alex again. So, you know, I just think he's jumping around, and I click on the name, and then it's here we go. Name. All right, Andy's back. But Alex is still here. Yeah, but Alex is here, and we don't have the the fellow from. And now uh, I lost the other guy. <laughs> guy with us. Mike right, is gone. I am. I'm going to bring him back. Now, but we lost the other guy. All <laughs> right, Alex is gone, and Mike Velez is back. There he is. Look at that. All right. All right. All right. Good evening, everyone. Let me share my screen. Okay. Good to have you back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We have uh, 695 Barrymore. Uh, this is the front view of the home, uh, as you see it from the street. Uh, then we go down into the renderings. Um, correct me if I'm mistaken, I believe this is the second uh, hearing on this project. Is that correct? I believe the first time uh, someone else had done it before. And, uh, and new drawings were made up because of that? Um, possibly. Um, I, I thought it was 680 Barrymore, but maybe it was this one. Um, okay. Okay. Anyhow. So some, uh, some design uh, bubbles. Usually uh, our design team does that when they uh, amend something or update something. Okay. Um, it, 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 I don't recall if, if it was if it's if you've been here before or not. I don't recall. I, I remember there being a Barrymore, but it was a different Barrymore. Yeah, I okay. don't recall this project. Yeah. But, All right, not a problem. So uh, we're proposing a 13.94 uh, KW system. It's composed of 41 340 watt modules. Uh, we're having nine in the front uh, over here and another 32 uh, in the back over here. Uh, two delta inverters and uh, one Tesla battery um, to uh, round out the system. So um, if we keep going down. Uh, here is the proposed space uh, for the battery. Um, the customer is going to clear this uh, back wall out here so we can put our uh, batteries and our equipment there. Uh, the inverters would go on the other side of this wall on the outside of the home. Uh, let me just get to those uh, renderings and show you what that uh, would potentially look like. Uh, that's a three line diagram for all of it. All right, so this is the uh, roof space uh, from an aerial uh, view. Uh, this would be the roof section here that we're proposing to put those uh, nine panels uh, over here. And the 32 would be composed in this back uh, roof section over here. Uh, this is a different view of the back of the house uh, and that roof space on the back uh, where those 32 modules would be uh, configured here. Uh, this would be the south facing drive uh, if you are driving down south uh, on Barrymore uh, this is the first uh, glimpse uh, of that turn where you would automatically see the house um, and as you can see uh, the the nine panels that are going to go on that tiny little roof section on the left uh, are barely visible uh, this would be the north facing drive if you were driving up the street in the other direction. Uh, this would be the first turn where you would uh, catch a glimpse of the house. Uh, and again, those modules uh, would not be seen from 
from this point of view either. Uh, this is uh, just the specs of the 340 uh, watt modules and what they look like. Uh, they're about uh, five feet tall, three, about three, three, two and a half, three feet wide, uh, about a inch and a half thick. Um, and those, this is the spec sheets for how much they weigh, uh, length, width, uh, and everything, uh, uh, along with uh, the maximum wattage and all that stuff. Uh, this is the spec sheet for what the Tesla uh, battery would look like. Um, they look just like this. Uh, he, I believe this particular customer is getting uh, a particular setup where he just requires just the one battery uh, with the backup system. Um, they're called uh, Tesla power walls. They kind of look just like that. Um, and then if we keep going down, these are all our. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think, um, I mean, a lot of the technical stuff is, is kind of not sure. really part of our purview, but I think what I would like to see if you could, if you could go back to the rendering and just point out where the inverter, you know, the extra oh, sure. is, and if you could also go to the plan again, just to show where the panels are again. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's just move the panelists uh, over. I believe this page would uh, best. Okay, that's so nice. that. Uh, so. What's the little orange thing next to the panels there? These orange things here? No, no, no those are skylights on, on the, the, the nine panels. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's, uh, I believe that's the chimney that's there. Oh, okay, I didn't, didn't see it in the photograph, but okay, chimney, all right. And can you also show on the rendering where the exterior equipment is? Uh, yes, right here where it says uh, these oh. two uh, little AC <laughs> okay. things right here. Uh, that would be it. I believe this would be the... What's the uh, thing in the front, that the green thing there? Uh, this is the garage door. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> all right. So in the garage door, it, uh, we have all these little uh, indications for the, the battery, uh, I believe two other boxes that are configured along with the battery have to be installed uh, in that same enclosure uh, where that wall space that I showed you before. Uh, so all these little things are indicators of the main panel, uh, the battery, uh, the disconnect switch, the two, uh, I guess, transformers that go along with the battery. Uh, these are all these little indicators and uh, there's a there's a legend uh, or tale over here. Okay, and I'll just ask if I could just see one more thing and then I'll, I'll stop. Sure. You had a, a picture earlier on of the, that showed kind of the house from above, I think. Oh yeah. Uh, so that would be- That one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, this great. Would be the, the front of the home here. Okay, uh, that's that's good. that little chimney that we're, we mentioned before. Right. Um, okay, I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm good. I've seen what I wanted to see. Um, all right, does anybody have any comments or thoughts here on the board? I'm good. Okay. I'm good too. I think it looks nice and yep, nicely think. structured so and minimizing the ones in the front. So the ones in yeah. the front are minimized. They're a small block. They're in an orderly block. The ones in the back, you can't see. And right. uh, so it seems yeah, fine. I think it's fine. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Anybody raising their hand, Barbara? No raised hand, no chats. Okay. Um, somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Um, I second. Okay. Um, so uh, I've got to, oh. I think I got to do roll call because I can't tell everybody because of the Zoom thing. So uh, please say yes or no. Cindy? Yes. Uh, Yvonne? Yes. Andrew, obviously you motioned. And um, Athena? Yes. Okay, great. And I'm a yes also. Okay, thank you. Good to go. Looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also have 168 Maples. Uh, is that next or should I just... Uh, no, that is next. That's next. That's, next. Yep. that's good. And yeah. even next, 
given the complications of Zoom, I think it would make sense to keep you on. <laughs> yeah, on that's right good. Here. <laughs> All right, no that's problem. I'll share my screen again. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the next property is 168 Maple. Uh, this is a 4.875 kW system um, composed of 15 additional panels, um, 325 watt panels uh, they're gonna be. Uh, this is the front of the home. As you see, it's standing from the street. And uh, now this is the, the design. Uh, so the lighter uh, boxes here are the existing system. Uh, the ones uh, up front with horizontal lines like this are, are the new ones that we are proposing. So it's, uh, it's going to be three modules on the front of the house uh, and another 12 in the back area configured like this. Uh, so that would be a total of uh, 11 on the front and uh, 20 on the back. And my sense is that the configuration of the house and the pitch is that there's these, these panels are not really visible from street level anywhere. Uh, I'll show you just that. So uh, again, front of the house, um, from the, if you were standing right in front of it, um, then this would be the neighbor's house. Uh, and if you were looking from the street to the, the property there, um, this would be the, I believe it's the north uh, facing drive. Uh, and this is uh, as soon as you pull up to this, I believe it's a one way street actually. So um, this would be the only way you can go. Uh, so as soon as you turn the corner or come down the street, you, you see the house from this angle. Uh, but yeah, you can't see uh, what's currently up there from, from there. Uh, this is an aerial view. Uh, so you can see uh, the behind the neighbors uh, in the street, a uh, very, very tiny street that's uh, right around the corner from that. Uh, and neighbors have uh, uh, these giant trees uh, that are blocking, you know, visibility onto the house. Okay. All right, so uh, that's, uh, oh, I'm too fast. There we go. Uh, this is kind of like an aerial view of what the existing panels uh, with the proposed new panels would potentially look like. Uh, the obviously these lighter ones are, are real photo images um, of the existing system and then th these would be our, our new system so I pictures I, I can see the existing ones at all okay uh, so yeah uh, currently uh, the, this new system is offsetting 57% uh, of their utility uh, bill which would uh, total with the old and new, to be uh, about 101%, I believe it is, 101.5%. Uh, uh, and again, uh, this is a, just a spec sheet of the panels, what they potentially look like. They're uh, black, uh, black, black with white trimming. Um, and are they the uh, same ones as on the other house? Uh, these are, let me just double check. They look uh, the same. Uh, yes, they're JA, JA. Uh, they're just a different size. These are 325s. The other house was 340s. Okay. Uh, are they different size panels? In uh, this not house? not uh, size as in like length and width, but size as in like wattage. Uh, the length and width well. are, are the same, uh, about five feet, two and a half to three feet uh, wide. Is that right? Because they look different, but maybe it's just a yeah uh, same exact impression. size. It's just the watt that's uh, lower. And I and I know that um, the roof face in the back is yeah it's quite uh, chaotic. I understand there's lots of openings, but uh, can you go back to that, please? Sure. Which one would you like to see? Is uh, the one is showing? One? Yeah, yeah, that one, the previous one. They just show the panels there. No, not this one. The, the drawing actually. Uh, the drawing. This one, one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, is is there any way to make it a little bit? Uh, no, like those. You know, there's a little two panels out there offset by a little bit. I mean, just anything that will make things look better. <laughs> sure, I understand sure. the challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I know aesthetics uh, is is big. Uh, let me uh, go back to the original. Well, the actual. CAD just so I can explain it a little better where mm -hmm. uh, you yeah, see here all these little stacks 
uh, mm -hmm. events uh, kind of prevent us and give us a limited uh, way of, you know, kind of configurations, mm -hmm. you know, we can only do so much with the space that we actually have. I, I would say, Yvonne, I, I certainly would tend to agree, except for that you really, I think you can't see them from anywhere, you know, so mm -hmm. the fact that- mm -hmm. Yeah, I know these are not airplane, uh, visible or- Yeah. I mean, as, even, as visible, yeah. You can even see the existing ones on the front in the pictures. Um, so those are on the back, you know. I feel mm -hmm. less concerned about it. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, with these little stacks, we, we can only do so much to try to give them the best possible outcome. You know, obviously this is their, their second system that they're getting. Uh, so, you know, it, it happens all the time. Uh, people get a solar system and then they start, you know, uh, buying up appliances that uh, the family grows, they get an extra person in the family, all of a sudden their consumption, uh, uh, energy consumption grows and they, they kind of out, you know, they kind of outgrow their original system, which is why they're getting an additional system to kind of compensate for, you know, the, 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 the extra power that they're using, uh, which is this, this case here. Um, so we, we try to like maximize uh, the system as much as possible, but you know, with the limited amount of roof space, uh, this is as, as best as we can do. And again, I would, I would be concerned about it if that was highly visible. Um, and then we might be asking you to look at other configurations, but to me, at least speaking for myself, the fact that you can't see it makes me feel more comfortable going with, you know, what they want to do. Anyway, I've been talking and what, what other people think? Andrew? I just, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry. I spoke, so <laughs> anybody else? <laughs> Andrew? Well, you're allowed to speak again. Yeah, I, I, am, I admit <laughs> I have not passed by this house to really see what it, I mean, like I understand when you're standing down in front of the driveway, you can't see up there, but I guess the neighbors across the street might be able to see they're just mm -hmm. fine. Um, well, the front ones, but the back ones? No, no, not the back ones. The back ones, are, you know, the back ones are in the back, right? Okay. People can put so, a lot of other stuff in the back of their house and no one can come there. John was uh, concerned about. I'm just, uh, right, it's just the three that are going in the middle there running the opposite direction. I was just wondering where they're- Yeah, the in between- Maybe they don't, they don't have to go the opposite direction. Uh, they they can I guess the the three that are are there uh, let me just go back to that uh, the three that are here uh, these three uh, can only be fit in right. this configuration yeah uh, right because that's because that's a roof break just to the left of it right uh, yes uh, so uh, this is the uh, these that's a different peak, roof uh, in, yeah different roof section mm -hmm. uh, and this yeah. is kind of off to the side over here. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I that this is my opinion, of course. Uh, by looking at the drawing, uh, I I kind of are looking at uh, possibilities of re re um, aligning the panels. I just wonder if there is any way just to make it look a little bit. Better. I know it's the back, but still, yeah, there there are neighbors, and they can look into that roof. Sure, uh, sure. Just because it's so so disorganized. Um, right, right. Uh, that, but I, I, I know that you, you do it because of all those openings. I understand, but yeah, I, I just looking at the drawing, and I might be wrong because maybe you know, this is not exactly to scale. You know that you might not have room to relocate or. Uh, right. the panels okay yeah i mean as far That's as i can concern. see the i see this panel here uh mm -hmm. being a potential fix we can probably put match right. that up and and put that thinking... out just like these uh -huh. uh, that's probably the only one we can do that too well but maybe you move you rotate that one 90 degrees and then you move the other one the up the one above there by itself I don't know. 
I, yeah, I'm just I'm just asking and, and see if you that, could maybe just yeah, that's a, a possibility. We can we can flip uh -huh. this. That's one my opinion. Like this. Take this one. Uh oh. Did we lose him? No. Audio. Mike. If you go. Or we lost him. Uh oh. oh. He said, uh oh, so I think something must have kind of unplugged or something. Yeah. Oh. Well, I wonder if this is a trend because just about the time I was joining is when everybody was starting to have their solar panels. Now mm -hmm. he's saying that people are coming into their second iteration of them. So yeah. that might start happening more often. This is the first time I've seen an add on. I think. Well, there have been others. Have not, there? Not, not often. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, on this one, so I guess we we'll see if we want to vote on it or if we want to ask him to go back. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, and straighten it out. Um, my my feeling is if he even if he could move a few of the panels in the back, you're still going to have like some haphazardness. Like it's never going to be nice and neat, right? Right. It's just not going to be. Yeah, it could be. I mean, but maybe that's sort of arbitrarily better. I mean, it's still going to be. It's still going to be in little pieces, patches here and there, right? Like it's not going to be one chunk of panels all going the same direction. Well, the other one is already um, sort of. Yeah like that yeah and on the, the front one you've got the three horizontal instead of vertical but um yeah but there's no other way vertical yeah. but that's that's but then you lose one yeah. you know i don't i don't and i don't know as long as it's a block i don't know that they kind of read as a block i think more than a span yeah they do yeah exactly um, because it's you don't see the separation that much i would think yeah, yeah, yeah you might not actually block. be able to see both at the same time even yeah. Because there's the dormer there. There's yeah, the you know yeah, the other hip roof yeah, in the middle. Yeah, and and that oh. house is up on a little hill, and I, I don't know. It's not, and you yeah you could see it from the neighbors' houses, but if the neighbors' houses are lower, and there's there aren't really neighbors to the rear. I don't know. It does it doesn't bother me? I think it's as much as it's bothering Yvonne. Are there are there any people, Barbara, who are weighing in from the audience? <laughs> No not. hands, no chats, no. Okay. Meanwhile, we've we've lost the, the fellow though. Yeah, we lost. Do we him. need do we need him to vote? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean just so we can move on. I mean, you know, there's other, yeah. there's other things on the agenda. I don't know. I don't know. That's it's never come up to be honest with you. <laughs> um well, I guess if we're yeah, I, I think I think we do. I mean, it would be awkward if we voted and, and turned them down and he wasn't here, you know. Um, so, I'm thinking, well, can we move on and come back to the vote? Yeah, we can move on and come back to the vote when he uh, reappears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So All let's right. just go on to Foreshore Road and Barbara, let us know if he gets back. Okay. This is this is the last one, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a doc. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm Azure, Azure Slater, agent for the applicant and owner uh, of Foreshore Road, uh, who is Robert Goodman. Uh, and as, yes, as you mentioned, uh, the proposal is for uh, a doc. Um, let me share my screen. Uh, so this is the, um, the dock will be on uh, the Long Island Sound side of the property, the rear of the property. Uh, this is a, uh, a photo looking at the area where the dock is to be located. Uh, we have an existing seawall and a stone patio on this little peninsula section of their property. The dock is proposed to come right off of uh, the seawall, uh, right, essentially the midpoint of the patio. Uh, be a concrete platform that steps up. There's about a two uh, two foot of parapet wall 
uh, from grade to the top of the seawall. So the um, a section of the seawall will be removed. A concrete platform uh, that will also serve as stairs uh, up from existing grade to the top of the wall um, and will serve as the foundation for the aluminum gangway. It's a 40 foot gangway that will lead down to an eight by 20 timber floating dock held in place by four uh, timber anchor piles. Um, and that's essentially uh, the gist of the application. We do have some drawings here that show here, here's the seawall, here's the patio, the concrete foundation with stairs leading up, gangway down to the floating dock, uh, cross section of that. Uh, and we've been before the planning board and Harbor Coastal Zone. And at the last meeting with Harbor Coastal Zone, they asked that we put the proposed dock on an aerial photo in context with other docks uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, so here's the uh, proposal for Foreshore Road. And you can see that there's a, other existing docks in the neighborhood. And essentially this is consistent with the character of the neighborhood and those docks. Uh, and distances from those docks and other adjacent features. Out of curiosity mostly, is it an 80 foot gangway? It's, uh, the gangway is 40 feet. 40 feet. Okay. Yes. Uh, so yes, so and that's to provide a safe slope at low tide from the top of the wall down to the- I, I was just curious if it was, if it was ADA. It's, it's not, but I don't know. No, it's- um, Okay. You know, I don't know whether I, well, what are, what are other, what do you, what do you all think guys on the board? Any yeah, I almost wonder, you know, why we're here. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's really not a- I'm asking myself the same question, but you know, that's, that's your policy, uh, the village <laughs> policy, you know, it's over $10,000, so we got to yeah, be here. Okay, well, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you can see it from boats and everybody, this, everybody's got these, they all look pretty much the same. They look, yeah, yeah from they look the street. Right. Actually, this is, a, this is a photo or, here of or something or similar. Is, yeah, okay. Planning in Harbor yeah. Coast should be weighing in on this. I'm not sure there's, there's a lot for us to say. Um, I was going to say, yeah. I don't know a lot about docks and such, but it looks like it should look to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, again, th this is a similar uh, installation, not in the Maranac, not this site, but uh, but again, a similar where there's a concrete platform gangway for floating dock with piles. Uh, the Harbor Coastal Zone did ask us because we're, at, we're suggesting a, or proposing a, a concrete um, foundation that we clad uh, that foundation, the exposed face um, with uh, stone veneer to match um, the seawall. You can see in, the, in this particular case, that's just left concrete mm -hmm. and they asked that we veneer ours. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's I see. Nice. Yeah. Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, this, uh, this, I don't think we have, unless somebody has some comments, maybe we should just go ahead and vote on this. Uh, does anybody have any? Yeah. No? Okay. No. A motion? No motion. I okay. second. Okay, uh, I'll roll call it again. Yvonne? Yes, yes. Andrew and Cindy, motion. Yes. You're both good. And uh, Athena? Yep. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay, now uh, the other fellow. Uh, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Okay. Ironically, he lost power. Oh. I hope, <laughs> really? I hope he doesn't have solar power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, we're back. Oh, yeah, it says he's there. Oh, I got Alex again. <laughs> All right, Mike the panelists. We've done we've done a lot of the houses out on that on that end of Shore Road, right? Yeah. A lot yeah, of projects. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, like hello, everyone. Sorry about that. I lost some yes. power there. Uh, Welcome back. 
No, I don't have solar in my house. Uh, <laughs> I, I have these giant, giant towering trees in the front of my house. <laughs> are just towering over my house, so okay. I can't get them. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I think we, we had pretty much just finished the uh, discussion. Um, and I think we were, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, talking about rather to... Uh, to vote on it or ask for some cleanup. I, I guess, I guess we kind of think, I guess we should vote on it. I'm thinking and everybody um, agreed with that. Let's, if so, can I get a, a motion uh, to vote? Yeah, I'll make a motion a, to vote. Yeah, I okay. second. Cindy, okay. And, uh, okay, and I'll, I'll roll call it then, uh, Yvonne. No, I would like to see uh, an option, but okay. I okay. respect one, the one. majority. Right. You can vote now. Andrew? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Athena? Yes, and I got to figure out how to get quicker into this motioning. I keep missing it. Oops. Into the what thing? Into, okay. I like miss every oh, motion. Yes, you're, like, to get into the motion. you're not, you're not going to show up in the minutes. You get no credit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in favor as well. Okay, so it's a, a four to one. That's uh, that'll carry it then. Uh, so thank you, and uh, and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good night. Okay, then um, I think I would. Let's adjourn and then we'll just spend five minutes recapping. But um, can I get a motion to adjourn? I motion. Oh, oh. Athena. <laughs> I can't get oh, no. off my mute you, button fast enough. <laughs> you go, you go. You can I second. Motion. <laughs> okay, you did it. Okay, anybody opposed? No. Right. Very good. Okay, so you can stop uh, the recording then, uh, Barbara. And I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything.